Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Lands of Ice. We are back with our challenge, picking up right where we left off last time. So if you guys have no idea what's going on, you know the drill. We have the video description with the challenge rules, as well as a link to our amazing fan-maintained wiki. And we also uh, have all those previous episodes that you guys can check out, because this is going to be quite the doozy, my friends. So we left off last time trying to figure out what to do from here. Our tribe has made it to this island. Island, the large ice island, and our wonderful Mafic, the god of lava, the god of fire, and the god of new changes, the son of Yuki on his very first reincarnation. I am so excited Mafic is a brand new Nishling god has set off across the island on his own, unlocking all of the icebergs that he can find and freeing the prehistoric nichelings. And he has been doing that because he is our only nicheling who has heat body, and thus the only one able to move on his own across the lands without having any kind of penalty. Uh, we might have to keep an eye on Racini, who is our brand new nicheling. I forgot I wanted to rename her. Uh, let me actually look up a cool name for her really quickly. Uh, let's see. Sulfur types. I actually wanted to name her after a type of sulfur, <laughs> if there was such a, a name that could be used, because she is, she was freed by the nicheling god, and then... She also just looks really cool. Okay, so there's nothing I can see quickly that would make a good name for Sulphur. So I think I'm just gonna give her Sophiri. Uh, Sophiri, there we go, Sophiri. Ooh, that's a pretty name. So this is Sophiri, freed from the ice by Mafic, and also carrying recessive heat body and genes that complement his. So I think she would brush the ice away, her beautiful antlers possibly having some of the ice crystals dangling in them. And we're gonna go ahead and have a little bit of a love story right away, just to make sure we don't lose some of Mafic's amazing genes, and possibly to pass, uh, you know, his amazing genes in to the rest of the tribe. So these two are actually going to need to work their way over to this spot so that they can unlock and bring over to the tribe this gigantic iceberg. And meanwhile, uh, like whoever's hiding in this giant iceberg that is, they're not gonna just like pick the iceberg up and put it in her antlers and walk over there. They are going to get the third and final nicheling hidden in the ice out of there and come to join the tribe. And meanwhile, we need food. We are very, very low on food. Everybody is getting quite hungry. Well, not very, very low, but we're going to get there soon. Everybody is getting quite hungry and trying to figure out what they can eat. And lo and behold, here comes a walrus deer who trying to kill kind of takes a lot out of you and he attacks back. But we do have nichelings with um, purr snout. So let's see what we can do here. Walrus deer, I want to eat you. Uh, so I think I want to lead an attack on him. But I also need to have Ra Ra have her baby, and I need Ra An to possibly have one last child with a cop. I'm thinking that is very important because she has saber fangs, he has hammer tail, and that way she would have a child who is not like descended from, yeah. I think she needs to do that because if we have direct siblings or even half siblings, we have to give our nichelings negative things in their mutation menu, like derp snout, blind eyes, uh, deformed paw, uh, infertility. So if she can have a child who carries hammer tail, who has no relation to any of these other ones and also carries saber fangs, that would be really useful. Hmm. All right. Uh, I think I might want to do that, or do I just want to risk it for saber fangs? Because she would have to have the child really, really soon. Hmm. Hmm. Like, she would have to have the child in the next day. Huh. All right. We're going to focus on food for now, so let's do this. I'm going to have her jump down here. The walrus deer is trying to get away. I'm going to have a cop maybe jump over here. The walrus deer, okay, attack walrus deer. Oh, that hardly did any damage whatsoever. What the heck? 
I don't think attacking the walrus deer is going to be the productive way forward. Just FYI. Yeah, I don't think that that's actually going to work the way I wanted it to. Um, we don't really need more nesting material right away. So I'm actually going to have to here, jump down here purposely to get bitten by a leech. I'm going to have Duar come over to eat the leech like we're getting that desperate. Yeah, I don't think the walrus deer at this stage is actually the answer to our food crisis. Um, and a cop will try to get some food. We need somebody guarding the baby Sasisi. And Rarara needs to have her child. But whole, oh, we're getting pretty, pretty low here on... Mm, yeah, we're getting pretty, pretty darn low on food. All right, Rakora can at least come over here and cast Purr Heal on everybody. And Rarara... Now everyone here at least is warm because they're in a group of three. I'm going to have Rarara actually come down. Oh, thank goodness, another leech. And I think we're feeding off leeches for now just because we're that desperate. Meanwhile, over here, we need to start working our way over to the iceberg. I really wish the bunnels would start showing up, but so far I haven't seen a single bunnel. So Mathic and Safiri are going to start working their way over to the other iceberg. And we're gonna really hope bunnels begin to be born in these burrows or we're gonna be in a little trouble. Okay, no bunnels, not good. All right, let's go ahead and have these two carry on. We might have to flee to the next island and see Sufiri is beginning to become very cold, but Mafic is never chilled um, and it, all he can do is try to rush her along, uh, maybe guide her to the hot springs while they unlock the next nicheling. <gasps> Whoa! Well, those would be really... Oh, thank goodness! Rarara! There's some food! Oh my gosh! And Rarara, because of her double paw, has four fishing. Oh my goodness! We need Sasisi down here, because she also has four fishing. Oh my gosh, okay, so Sasisi, you're gonna be brought over to help out with fishing. I think fishing may actually save the day. Rarara, this is amazing. I think she might actually have her baby literally on the edges here because she can just fish and pluck the kelp. I think that may be a good idea. I'm gonna have her pluck the kelp for now and then maybe like jump over here. This may actually work. And yeah, like I don't think that Takir can actually do much when it comes to this food, but we can do a little bit more when it comes to gathering up fish or trying to fish. <gasps> okay, this, this'll do, this'll do. We need to make sure the baby is taken care of. And I, I think I definitely, a cop, I'm gonna have him maybe jump over here. And I'm gonna allow a cop to try to have a child with uh, Ra'an and Ra'an, I think she's beginning to realize things are getting a little dangerous. I cannot put the prehistoric genes into the mutation menu, just for those of you guys who are confused, because the challenge is to methodically breed so that we are able to keep the genes in the tribe, uh, but they're too complex for us to put in the mutation menu, we're saying. So let's see, if, if she could pass on, I'm gonna put another claw in for her other paw, just in case and let her have one last child. I'm even gonna let her maybe do a call. I wish that would summon food. And I see, oh, man, there's just nothing. There's just nothing. I'm gonna have Icy jump this way and at least gather up some nesting material. And Rakora is trying to stay here. She's just gonna have to stay there, maybe purr to keep everybody warm, maybe jump over here. And then did the fish get, okay. And we'll try to do some more fishing with Duar because he can get closer to unlocking any of the things that have to do with fishing. So I think that Rarara may actually save us doing a fishing for fish right along this edge. But what a haphazardous way to have to dive into this frozen icy water with her pregnant belly, but she's the only one with the claws and the strength enough to be able to do it. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's carry on. Uh, oh, and this is going to actually be our last moment with Ra'an. Oh, I'm going to miss her. And she is going to have a child with a cop because they are not related. And they both carry prehistoric genes, so they understand the importance of this. 
So Ra'an, you have been one of the most amazing nichelings I have ever had, and I will miss you dearly. Thank you for the contributions you have made to our tribe. I'm gonna miss that baby. Or I'm gonna miss her. She had her baby with recessive hammer tail, with recessive heat body, and with recessive saber fangs. New new. And we're gonna go ahead and give him the name uh new new. There we go. Just to always remember Ra'an's influence. Also, a cop is now freezing to death. Not good. Uh okay, we have to warm him up, and then we need to drag him over here. We now have leeches, which is actually very good for us. Uh, thank you very much, leeches. So excited to see you. We also have some fish here. We also might have some noodle worms, but oh, Takir has been bleached. Fui, uh, we'll get the leeches off him. And can he do that fishing? Cannot do that fishing. We have to kind of keep these three next to each other or else they're gonna freeze while trying to fish. But I've got to get Rara Ra over here where she can do some more effective fishing. All right, so those three are trying to fish. That's literally the only source of food we have so far. This is not good. Uh, all right, and meanwhile, Sufuri, don't jump in that nest. This would be a terrible place to have your child. Is going to continue. There we go. And next time we're going to unlock that. Whew, we might actually have to leave this island early from lack of food. This is really kind of spooky. We actually have a shocking amount of nesting material considered, like all considering. Um, but I'm gonna gather a little bit more because we can only we can only gather from that and kelp. Uh, but man, wow, okay. We've almost got the third one. We might actually leave this island early, even though we would have to wait to breed until we reach like really far away new lands. Duar is getting a little older, but he's the only one who's really super old. I don't know, that might really be pushing it because we would only be able to have more babies when we got to a new island, like to a new ice land. Or maybe what we'll say is we could breed here, but we can only breed on ice islands. So we could have all of our females pregnant because they can breed in this condition and they can give birth anywhere. Uh, I, I, you know, if they're just desperate and like give birth in their final days, but they can only have children. They can only breed on ice islands. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. All right. Oh, yes. We have another little fish hunter. <gasps> You're going to save us all, Sasisi. Wonderful. All right. And a cop is over here. He might actually need to start breeding with some of our nichelings. So he has recessive heat body, which would be amazing because then we would have the freedom to explore the island without like the way. I mean, if we, everyone could move like Mafic has, we might be able to stumble on more food. We also definitely need digging paw. Holy cow. Do we need digging paw? How close am I to unlocking it? Oh, I'm only six digs away. What? Where's the nearest dig spot? Man, it's all the way over here. I might need to go looking for, oh, there's a dig spot down here. That may be the next thing is to send out a crew to look for dig spots. Uh, a cop, you're completely unrelated to everyone. And Rakora, a cop and Rakora can actually have a child, but they do share an immunity gene. H and F, B and F. It would be a good idea to wait for Sasisi to age up. Um, or G and I. It's time for Rarara to have her own child. So I don't think the time is yet for Rakora to go ahead and breed. Yeah, I don't think so. B and I, because they do actually share some genes and we have one more iceberg to unlock. So I'm gonna have her jump down here and I wish that he could do something more. I'm gonna have him jump up and call just to, to work on unlocking some things. All right, so next up. <gasps> things to hunt, food to eat. All right, all right. Food, food, food. Like food stat. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my goodness. There's food. Okay, there's food here. Oh my gosh. I think we're being saved like in the final moments. Who has the leech? Okay, Takir has the leech. Grab that. Food! All right, the Arctic Ram Foxes have arrived and uh, I really hope they don't eat our baby. 
<laughs> I'm gonna tumble him out of the nest, like, whoa! Like, maybe he's sitting on the, the stump and a ram fox sticks its face in his and he just kind of lets out a yelp and tumbles backwards onto the hard ground. Uh, he does have some pretty good recessives, so hopefully that'll work out nicely. Meanwhile, we're gonna have these two. So Cece is now learning how to do some good hunting. Uh, Takir needs to get out of the way so that Rarara can do some good hunting. Thank you, Takir. And Rarara is going to do some good hunting and have her baby. And Takir is going to come over here and gather this up. And Sasisi, I wonder if they get cold on the icy edges like this. I'm going to have Sasisi stay with Takir. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. I've never been so happy to see Arctic Ram Foxes before. This is wonderful. I'm so glad to see your little white faces. I'm gonna have to eat you now. Uh, all right, where are we? All right, so we need to keep moving. Poor Sufiri. Oh, can she not make it into the hot springs? She cannot make it into the hot springs, unfortunately. But she is by the side of Mafic, who is now going to come down. And with a critical gaze over his shoulder, his spiky, hot-bodied shoulder, by the way. Uh, like, literally, his body is physically hot. I don't know if I would myself consider this an attractive nicheling. I, I have more varied taste than this, but uh, I appreciate that, you know, he's physically hot. Uh, like, literally physically hot, at least. Uh, but he, with a critical glance over his physically radiating heat body at the blue bird, and a concerned glance over at Sufiri, who has become his first mate. We are going to have Mafic reach forward and press his hot paws, physically hot paws, up against the ice block and melt it to free the third and final prehistoric creature on this island. Another Hammertail! Bull Ham Fooey! <laughs> oh, well. We've got enough Hammertail boys to go around to make sure we get Hammertail in the family at least. So that's a good mate for Rikora and actually a good mate for Icy. So that makes me quite happy, but that was a little unexpected. Uh, okay. And we happen to have the walrus deer like right in front of us. So why don't we just give him a good smack or two? Oh, we chased him up against the, the like, oh yes. Where you can chase them up against the water. I didn't think about that. Here, Icy, come join us. This could potentially... Ooh, unlock Digging Paw, Icy. Do both those things. That's really critically important. All right, we're doing this. We're doing this, guys. We're doing this. We're, we, we might survive after all. All right, Rarara is now going to have her child. I do believe she is about to give birth to the only child that Oakglade possibly could have? I can't remember who made it with Rarara. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Remy, who is your parent? It was Oakland! Yes, Oakland has a little girl. We had to leave him behind. She has nothing useful whatsoever. None of her father's traits, unfortunately. But I will always uh, remember him. So I'm gonna actually name her Oak Shadow after her father and we'll rename her uh, Oak... Oak... Sha? Oak Sha? We're gonna rename her Oksha to kind of smoosh her name down a little bit into a more nicheling style name. But all right, the ram foxes are tearing through our nest, which I think is startling the heck out of Nanunu. We have a few fish along here and the birth. Oh wait, Oksha, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> right along the icy edges. Uh, we ran out of fish, but there's apparently a couple leeches hiding inside of the kelp. I wonder if the leeches actually appear in the kelp, so we should stop like plucking the kelp. Uh, also, we have got this walrus deer more or less cornered and it might feed us for quite a long time. Sufuri needs to wiggle her way over to a safe place to have her child. We still have 12, only 12 days left on this island and another hammertail male that we have added into the pile of hammertails. So I think it's safe to say we have solidified at least one prehistoric gene in this tribe. We are currently displaying two of them. Two out of six. So we're like two out of six the way there. 
<laughs> but I am loving this challenge. We are going to get ready to move forward next time. And I will see you guys then. But if you could, do please leave a like to possibly toss your own punch against the walrus deer so that we can help the tribe survive with the food that it offers. And if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures. I have been working hard for years and we're almost up to 7,000 adventures, which I am very proud about. But all right, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.